when I was a kid and my teeth were starting to deteriorate, they were starting to yell out really dramatically and the cavities were already noticeable. In school, I got bullied a lot because of it. They didn't really see that it needed help. They just said, you're a disgusting pig. You're not really brushing your teeth. And like, I try to brush every night, but it doesn't work. It's not working out. I don't know what's happening. I'm trying to go to the dentist, but they also say it's not working out because I don't brush, but I do brush. When he was referred to our clinic, he was not in a very good health condition. He had lost a lot of his teeth, the remaining teeth, and also the gums were all infected, painful, and he was suffering. When I presented the treatment plan to, the, to him and to his family, they were all very happy that there is a solution for this big problem. But then they were very disappointed and sad that they cannot afford it because it was a relatively expensive treatment. That's why at that stage, I decided to apply for the access to care fund. Maybe the only other option for this patient was no treatment and suffering from all this pain and chronic infection in his mouth, or maybe just taking all the infected teeth out. I thought my case was impossible at one time and that I would have to have no teeth for the rest of my life. I think in his case, the access to care fund made a very big difference in his life. He's a totally new, happy kid, a big kid. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help. Thank you for helping us um, smile again. I'm still getting used to smiling. It's hard. I always smiled with my mouth closed, so this is the best I can do.